hey guys welcome back to my channel i really hope you guys had a great memorial day weekend i know i did um and if you are new to my channel welcome welcome this is just a channel for self-development and educating of the self learning about the self and how the mind works and how to be more confident in yourself and things like that so just a personal growth motivation type of channel so as you will see from my previous videos i talk about various things that will help you in life if you're ever struggling with any issues of believing in yourself and um, truly being confident in yourself so if you are not new to my channel thank you so much for returning i'm so happy to see your beautiful face even though i can't but i could just imagine it in my mind i'm just so happy to see you guys and to be back with another video so let's go ahead and get started so this video is really in regards to forgiveness and the power of forgiveness so as I mentioned in my last video we are going through another retrograde it is Saturn retrograde and during this time it's bringing up a lot of old things a lot of karma is coming around a lot of old habits a lot of old ideas a lot of old thoughts a lot of old people a lot of old things are coming back to see if you have learned from them, if you have grown from them, to see if you are able to move forward instead of being stuck in the past. So that is why it is very, very, very crucial that I put out this video now about the power of forgiveness because that's really all that it takes in order to move forward in your life, in order to make changes in your life, in order to learn and grow and be able to create the life that you want for yourself. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So forgiveness is one of the hardest things to do for a lot of people. Um, you know, a lot of people live by, I will not forgive, uh, I forgive and forget, you know, things like that. There's a lot of different sayings about forgiveness, but we don't understand the importance of forgiveness, the true, true importance of forgiveness. So forgiving is being able to clear your energy so that you can create something that you want. That is my definition of forgiveness that I have learned through my journey. So forgiving is being able to clear your energy so that you can create the things that you want for yourself and so that you are able to move forward okay so when you are not forgiving you're blocking yourself you're not able to clear that energy you're not able to move forward from the thing that hurt you or the thing that bothered you or the thing that held you back in the first place by not forgiving you're still holding on to it you're not allowing yourself to move forward you're not allowing yourself to grow you're not allowing yourself to learn from the experience and really take it with you and move forward to the next experience that's really all all it is about so by not forgiving you know we all feel that you know I'm not gonna forgive this person because they did this to me and whatever and they need to learn their lesson or they need to learn and realize how they hurt me I understand that I understand that however by not forgiving you're allowing yourself along with probably someone else to stay hurt to stay stuck in the past to stay in a stagnant position to stay in one place and that's not cool so you're hurting yourself in the long run because you want to get back at someone else who hurt you which is not ideal which is not something that you should do you need to forgive so that you can release it so that you can move forward things happened for a reason so take from that, learn from that, realize what the lesson is in that, and let it go. I'm not saying that you have to forget it. No, definitely don't forget it because it was a lesson. It came to you for a reason. You need to keep it in here so that when you move forward, you know not to let the same cycle occur. You know not to let the same thing occur. However, you do need to forgive so that you can clear all the smoke in your way, all the blockages in your way, everything that's in your way so that you can move forward to the next cycle in your life, the next experience in your life, okay? So by not forgiving, you're allowing yourself to live in the past. Nobody wants to live in the past. Living in the past is very, very not fun. <laughs> and it's a very painful experience because it's the same cycle over and over again. It's the same experience over and over again. And I mentioned this in one of my other videos where you sit back and you realize, 
wow, this is the same thing that happened to me last time. This is the same situation. But why is this so similar? Because you're not forgiving. You're not learning the lessons. You're not allowing yourself to move forward. Okay. So it's okay to not forget it, but it is crucial to forgive all of those involved, to forgive the situation in general. Okay. Another important thing um, about the power of forgiveness is don't take things personally. If something does happen to you with someone else and, you know, it's a real huge conflict and horrible things happened, don't take it personally. Other people are going through their own life lessons, their own journey, their own things that they need to accomplish. So if someone, you know, harms you or says something mean to you or does something bad to you, I know it hurts. I know they may not be in the wrong or they may not be in the right, but don't take it personally because it is something that they are going through. It is something that they have to face within themselves. So just, you know, look at it like, okay, I know I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I know that I didn't do anything wrong, or maybe I did do something wrong. Let me go and apologize. Let me reassess. Let me look into myself and see what's going on with myself. But also, you have to allow the other person to do that as well. You have to allow the other situation to go through that same self-evaluation as well. And then you also have to just forgive the situation, forgive the person, realize that it's much bigger than what you think it is, realize it's bigger than what you see with your own eyes, you know, there's a lesson there that needs to be learned, there's something there for someone to learn from, okay, and they may be reacting from it from their own traumas, their own experiences, their own life lessons, that's how they react to it, so don't take it personally, I know it's hard And it's easier said than done, but take a second, take a breather and say to yourself, okay, you know, I realize what's going on and I'm not going to take this personally. I'm just going to look at it as a lesson and I'm going to move forward. I forgive you. Simple as that. I know it's hard, (laughs) but just work towards it. Move towards that way of living your life and I promise you things will get easier and easier and easier as the days go by okay so the best and most important and healthiest thing to do just like I said before is to learn from the experience and learn how to forgive that way you are able to start moving forward and you are able to start accepting the situation for what it is for what it could be for whatever the case may be and why it happened and just to start creating something new for yourself okay now remember we are creating the lives that we live with our energies and our thoughts so when you're not forgiving or when you're indulging in things that just don't work for you or when you're angry or when you're sad and you're holding on to something from the past that hurt you so bad that's You're keeping your energy blocked. You're saying to the universe, okay, I'm going to hold on to this. I don't want to move forward because I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to hold on to this hurt. The universe is going to say, okay, your wish is my command and you're stuck in that energy. You can't move forward. Although you want to move forward, you're not allowing yourself to move forward because you're still holding on to something. You're still not forgiving. You're still not letting go. You're still not accepting what it was you're still not learning the lesson because if you did you would then be able to release it you would then be able to forgive all of those involved you would then be able to move forward you would then be able to say okay i get it and the universe will say okay new slate clean plate let's start fresh here's something else new for you does that make sense for you guys hopefully that makes sense for you guys so just like i said not forgiving is holding on to the past and creating something over and over and over and over again a cycle pretty much you're creating a cycle over and over and over and over again because you're holding on to something that needs to be let go or needs to be forgiven or needs to be looked at in a different perspective okay so something that I have done to really help me through this because I was one who held on to a lot so I'm not gonna sit here and say I didn't go through it I went through it guys I went 
through it and it was hard. It is not something that is easy. However, taking that first step is all that you have to do because once you take that first step, then you can take that second step and that third step and that fourth step and so on and so forth. And then you will start to see how it's not so hard after that second step, after that third step, it gets easier and easier and easier, but you have to stay up on it and you have to just work with the energies, work with the things that you're going through, be able to really look within yourself and say, okay, I understand what's going on. I understand that this is an insecurity within me. I understand that this is an insecurity within someone else. I understand that this is a blockage within someone else. I understand that this is a trauma within someone else. This is a trauma within me. So, you know, don't place blame on others all of the time. Also realize the fault that you have, you know, the traumas that you have, the insecurities that you have, definitely think of the ways in which you are reacting as well and learn from that because you may be learning a lesson from someone else and someone else may be learning a lesson from you. Okay, so it goes both ways. And that's why it's so important to realize the importance of self and knowing who you are and understanding what you're going through so that you are able to decipher and discern the situations around you. So that way you can handle it in the best and most healthy way for you and the other person involved if they choose to, because everyone has free will. Okay, so. Something simple that I have done is just a chant that I would say to myself when I realize that I'm getting antsy or when I realize that, you know, I'm starting to place blame or whatever the case may be. Okay, so this chant is I realize why things had to happen the way they did. I'm stronger now and I forgive all those involved, including myself. Okay, so I'll say it again. I realize why things had to happen the way they did. I'm stronger now and I forgive all those involved, including myself. So continue to say that to yourself quietly, you know, just quietly in your head or quietly out loud. Say it to yourself a couple of times and just breathe and you will see how you're able to look at the situation differently, and you will see how you're able to analyze things in a different way, how you're able to release it and not feel so hurt or not feel so anxious and panicky, like something is horribly wrong, why are you doing this to me, you know, things like that. So you're able to see it in a different way. You're able to be balanced, which is something else that I talked about in my last video, staying balanced, especially during this time. It is very, very important because there's a lot of things during this retrograde that are trying to knock us off, that are trying to get us to see where we need to fix ourselves and where we need to grow ourselves, okay? And I'm speaking from experience. These are things that I am going through and these are things that I can see from other people that are happening. So I'm realizing that it's a more of a collective thing than anything else. So that's why I'm on here trying to help everyone else grow and help everyone else realize the things that are going on. So hopefully you guys are able to understand what I'm saying, but Just whenever you feel the need to place blame on anyone, to get upset, to get sad, to get anxious, to feel like a victim, like all things are happening to me. Why is this happening to me? If you ever feel like life is happening to you, that means that you are not learning your lessons. You are not taking control of your own life and you are not taking responsibility for your own life and the things that you are going through. So you of all people, definitely need to practice the power of forgiveness okay so say that chant to yourself over and over as many times as you want make up a chant that works for you that resonates with you but definitely work on the forgiving and learning how to forgive and learning how to forgive yourself most importantly because that's one of the hardest things for a lot of people they can forgive others left and right but when it comes to forgiving their self it is almost impossible but I promise you that it's not I know we place a lot of regard on ourselves we hold ourselves to a high uh 
pedal stool. We want to never make mistakes. We want to be perfect. We want to do things right for this person and that person and mom and dad and girlfriend and boyfriend and friends. And we want to just portray that we are okay and that we are perfect and that we are doing what we're supposed to do. Guess what? It doesn't always work like that. We make mistakes. We are humans. Okay. So do not be so hard on yourself. Give yourself a break. Realize the things that you are doing that is not helping you and realize the things that you need to do in order to better yourself and to grow, okay? So don't beat yourself up. If you find yourself beating yourself up, say that chant. Work on forgiveness and release it and create something better for yourself. Clear your energy once and for all of the past, of the things that hurt you, of the things that held you back, of the things that just don't work for you, clear it. Clear it once and for all.